Namaskar Oatmeal Heads, and welcome back to the Captain Oats Show. This is a chill out episode where I'll be eating these Pringles. We're also going to be browsing Wibby. Hmm. For those of you who don't know what Wibby is, it's like a. Um, it's like a search engine for old web pages. And it's got this surprise me function, which lets them surprise me. So we're just going to check out some old web pages and yeah, you know the drill guys. Let's see what we get. What's this? Ooh. Scope Views by Roger Vine. Telescope and binocular reviews for northern skies. So, it's got some pictures here, or a picture, and some links. So what have we got here? So this just tells us what to buy. We, um, it's got some blogs, some writings. Let's go check out some binoc... Um, I want more pictures, actually. Do you have more pictures? No, this is, looks like it's mostly like information. We'll just check out one of these pages. Uh, let's check out travel. Oof, so much information. Okay, we don't need all this information. We're gonna get surprised again. We'll just start. We'll start over. That's the fun of Wibby. It's never ending. Trilobite imposters. I'm sure I've seen a living trilobite. Have you? That's a good question. Have you ever seen a living trilobite? Probably not. Trilobites have been extinct since before the age of dinosaurs, you dumb motherfucker. As if you'd see a trilobite in your life. But some living creatures bear such close superficial resemblance to trilobites that they cause great excitement when encountered. That was probably you. You probably saw one of those uh, uh, superficial resemblance creatures and got excited. Not me though, I can spot a trilobite. See these guys? Not trilobites. This guy, not a trilobite. These are trilobite imposters. So that was quite informative. Uh, be on the lookout for trilobite imposters. You don't want to get tricked. What else have we got? We be Stein Collectors International. This, lo this looks uh, riveting. Let's have a look. Um, we definitely want pictures of, of some steins here. So let's check it. Ooh, they've got some glass steins. Glass steins aren't as nice. We do like the ceramic steins a bit more. Ceramic steins are where it's at. Um, let's just get started though. We'll check out this. Oh my god. So the, the old internet was all about info. Information, no pictures. Uh, that's, that's why people were a little bit different back then. Uh, their brains were a little bit different. They, they, did, they, did, they did a bit more reading, a little less uh, viewing. So that's an interesting look into the past and that we can reflect on. We've got lots of pictures now. I guess we got we, we got more camera technology. Welcome, you've reached www.wary.com. This one's a bit more of a mystery one. They're, they're a bit, um, okay, well, all right. So this guy's got, all right, we'll just find out what it is to be honest, because they got it in about. The wary.com the domain resides on a Linux we don't need to know that, dude. We just need to know it's running the Fedora 7 flavor of the operating system. That's very interesting. However, we want to know what the fuck this website is. This system is currently connected to the internet. Very good. At home. Is it? Okay, yeah. Uh, it's existed since 1996. It doesn't really tell us what the website's about, but um, I guess we'll just have a look through. So we've got some opinions, we've got some photographs, and... We'll just check out some opinions here. New. He's not much... He hasn't got a lot of opinions here, but he's got a blog. We're not going to check out the blog. I want to check out other gadgets and other stuff. So it's just more information. So it looks like it's like a, a gadget information website. Reaching... Okay, so this is personal... This guy's personal website. So here's his personal information. You can contact him and find out what this website's all about. I have email on a couple of mobile devices, so email will usually reach me pretty quickly, even if I'm traveling. Sweet. So hit this guy up. His name's Phil Wary. Oh. Um, let's check out another website, shall we? 
Ooh, Worms 2. Everyone loves Worms 2. This game is the sequel to Wickedly Cool Worms. Yes. Uh, what is this? So it's just information about worms. All right, we'll check out some cool worm moves. So uh, what's death from above? Um, so it's, yeah, just a lot more words. Uh, I can I can read, but I don't know if you guys like me reading. By far the easiest move in this section. Oh yeah, everyone loves this move. That was a classic in Worms too. Where are my Pringles? Now this is a good website. O'Neill's Ghost Ghosteries. Yes, it's got the dancing baby. Yes, classic. The best chill on the net. All right, guys, let's let's chill. We've just found the best chill on the net, so we're just gonna, uh, I guess, click on something. All right, we're in. So this is a cool website. Welcome. Please allow one moment while the ghosts and spirit your room and hallways. Fuck you, dude. Don't put ghosts in my room. This this is the haunted website, so we gotta tread tread carefully here, guys. Sorry if I had food my lip speaking. Never mind. Um, what have we got here? We bid you welcome to the libraries that built ghost trees. Okay, so we got some libraries here. What else have we got? So these are just ghost stories, I think. Let's read a ghost story. Uh, I don't want to read about how it came to be. Chain of events. A day wouldn't be complete. What's this? We've got a mystery button. I'm going to click on the mystery button just because I want to know what... Whoa! The chain of events. So we got some spooky skeletons. The buck started here. Take out a $1 bill and look at it. Go ahead, guys. I'll wait. The one dollar bill you're looking at first came off the presses in 1957 in its present design. This so-called paper money is in fact a cotton and linen blend Ooh. with red and blue minute silk fibers running through it. That's pretty interesting. It's actually material. We've all washed it without it falling apart. Yes, have we? A special blend of ink is used. The contents we will never know. Ooh, mystery ink. It is outprinted with symbols. It is it is overprinted with symbols and then it is starched to make it water resistant and pressed to give it a nice crisp look. So that's a pretty spooky story. Um, ah yes, a gazebo. Every time I see one like this, I am either reminded of King's The Dead Zone or that great Northern Exposure episode when Maurice is takes a back takes a backhoe to theirs. What does that mean? It's a fun word to say though, I guess. Yeah, backhoe is pretty good. I've forgotten what this website is. It was this, this is a ghost story, wasn't it? A pilot's message. Ooh. Let's just skip to the, the spooky part. I, we gotta skip to the end where he does the, 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 the spook. Um, I don't think this one was a ghost story actually, so we're gonna go find some ghost stories. Uh, the Shadow Knows. Okay, so this is a spooky ghost story, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna read the end because we wanna know where the spook is. Uh, we never saw the Shadow Man after. Oh, they saw a Shadow Man. I wanna see the part where they see the Shadow Man. Uh, to my absolute horror, there was a man standing there. Oh my god, that's so scary! I had never been so scared in my life. Ah, I feel that. I didn't dare move or make a sound, or even breathe for the matter. I just kept my eyes glued to the doorway. That's when I noticed that I could see through it. Oh, spooky supernaturals. Before I could really panic, I, it occurred to me that it must be a shadow of someone that was standing out at a street level. Oh, I guess there's an explanation for everything. I rationalized that the street lights were causing the shadow into the hallway. Through the window that was in our, oh, through the window that was in our room, I was starting to calm myself down and decide to prove my theory by turning around and looking at the window that was behind me. Spooky, thank you, dancing babies. Let's check out another website. <clears throat> 
What's this? The Bio 113 Virtual Museum of Paleontology. This sounds cool. For those of you guys out who like mollusks, paleontologist mollusks, here you go, we got some neat pictures. See, this was a pretty advanced website for back in the day. They had lots of pictures. Mmm, that looks like an octopus and a squid. Very interesting. What else have we got? Prerosaurs. I don't know what that is. It must be. Oh, it's a prerodactyl. Oh my god, prerosaurs? Is that what they're called? Prerosauria. <laughs> Excuse me. That's really neat, dude. I've never seen a pterodactyl uh, fossil before. So there's a first time for everything, I guess. That's pretty cool. Um, what else have we got? I want to see more birds. Bird fossils. Yes, this guy's... Um, his head's the wrong way. I don't think he should look like that. That's a bit of an awkward, uncomfortable position for him. This guy too. Okay. So we've seen some fossils. Uh, that was exciting. We can move on now. Mm, welcome to Cyber K's place in cyberspace. This looks like another one of those personal websites. A bit of a, an old-timey phenomenon. We don't have personalized web pages now. Welcome to fishpondinfo.com. Interesting. Okay, we're going to get uh, fun critter information. So we can learn about fishes. Not a very intuitive website. We'll go to the fish index. Alright, we got fishes. Tank index. Alright, we don't really need to learn about how to do fish stuff. You can learn that on your own time. This is my time now. Uh, we're going to look at McSpotlight. McDonald's spends over two dollars, two billion a year broadcasting their glossy image to the world. This is a small space for alternatives to be heard. Okay, so this is like a website for McDonald alternatives. Let's go to the debating room. Let's go debate some guys. We're going to go debate someone on McDonald's. McDonald's sucks. A good topic, but that sounds a bit uh, heated. We don't want to get into a heated debate right now. We want to get into a civil uh, discussion. Um, yet more on why meat is a risk factor for cancer. Okay, that's an interesting debate that we can have. Here is yet another health-related website extolling the virtues of eating fruits, vegetables, and grains, and discouraging the consumption of meat and dairy because they risk factors for cancer. A sample. Good research tells us that people who eat a high animal fat and polyunsaturated fat diet who drink a lot of alcohol have a high risk for reoccurrence of their... Oh, that's not good. Let's go to the full article here. Hmm. Looks like we've run into a bit of an error. That's understandable. We'll just go check out another website. How long have I been recording? 13 minutes, nice. Feels a lot longer. What is this? The Bresenhev era. I don't even care about that. Give me something fun. Fun and exciting. <clears throat> A friction fire inquiry. Hand drill, page one. It looks like somebody's uh, psychotic ramblings. I'm not going to read that. Too many of those websites around, and I don't need to deal with it. A homemade solar kettle, its performance and its problems. <laughs> okay, so this is some guy's uh, little personal project. He was making this uh, soul made, homemade solar kettle to heat up his, to, to boil his water with solar energy. Well, we did mad science for this shit. Damn, dude. It's just a fucking kettle, dude. Buy one at fucking Kmart. Let's go somewhere else. Anthony Heisen. 
You are in a grand foyer of magnificent castle. I feel it. I envision it, yes. It's in my mind's eye. The floor is decked in a thick red carpet, and the stone walls have been polished until it shines. Lovely. Lovely. Ob obviously, this castle in entrance is not designed for the wear and tear of combat troops, but for the greeting of noble visitors such as moi. A sign chained to the arch stone ceiling reads, This is, ooh, this is a fun little game. Greetings and welcome to ye castle of Anthony Th Thyssen, friend of dragons, collector of runic icons, flyer of kites, and sorcerer of computer magic. This guy sounds like a fucking nerd. This, this be my home where I study the comp computational forces of the great web. And I love it. Oh my god, this guy is sick. He, um, it is, it's endearing, I gotta say. It's a very endearing website. I'd love to read more, but, um... To, le to your left is softly growing magical panel of runic buttons with a display of some kind. Looks like it lets you see information about the owner of the castle. Do we want to learn about the owner of the castle? Or do we want to learn about software exports? I think we should go to another website. Thank you, Anthony Thyssen. Your, your logo is a bit weird. I didn't read it as Anthony Tyson at first, but it was a very cute website. I like what you got going. I hope you're doing all right now, 20 years later. What's next? Yes, we've got more Dancing Baby. This one's a bit more advanced, though. It's got a fancy background and a bit more a bit more animated. This this is probably a later website. Yep, see? 1996 to 2019. So this has been updated. Oh, this is 2007. So that's a 2007 Dancing Gift Baby. Very advanced. Let's enter the da dancingbaby.net. No way. It's a whole website dedicated. To no way. It's all dedicated to dancing babies. Ah, this is this is a treat. Okay, let's find. Where's the the list of dancing babies? Right, we got Christmas baby, terms of use, dancing baby. Is this is this it? Stunt baby. All right. We've got more babies down here. I don't, I'm not sure how to navigate this website. Okay. Nice. That's a dancing baby. Um, let's check out some of the originals. Very good. The baby, the, oh, here we got some information. The Dancing Baby was created with a 3D Studio Max and Character Studio. Nice. Hmm. Have you got any more dancing? Honestly, this stunt baby. Now that is a cool gif. Nice. dancingbaby.net check it out guys get all your bit dancing babies oh wait oh yeah there's not a lot of babies though i gotta say there's a few but there's not a lot what's this one it's not even a thing anyway i've seen enough dancing babies that was exciting for a bit let's get surprised again this looks like a shitty website more than 100 years of film sizes. Film sizes? I, it's so niche. <laughs> My goodness. What is this? The Distorted Barbie. The positioning from the very first commercial was that she was a person. We never mentioned that she was a doll. Okay. Um. This is a creepy website. Let's find out why we're distorting Barbie. In 1987, I painted my first Barbie. Painted? I had been painting mostly abstractions. And I and decided I wanted to do realistic work for a change. I needed a subject that would be challenging to render accurately. With enough details and nuances to keep me busy for a while, 
And it had to be something that anyone would immediately reckon. So you're paying... Who the fuck are you, dude? What is this bullshit? Symbology. The Barbie symbology. We got some Christ symbology. And some... More religious symbology. Okay, so Barbie is full of religious symbology. So that's our takeaway from that website. Let's see what we get next. Florida's lost tourist attractions. This could be interesting. Whoa, we got lots. Splendid China. Let's go to Splendid China, Florida. Wow, they got their own Great Wall of China. That's pretty impressive. Move over China, right, guys? Who needs them? We've got this. Hard Rock Vault. Ooh, we're going to Haunted Mansion. Ooh, that's a fun little... That's more of a castle than a mansion. Uh, yeah, mansion. Doesn't this thing look like more of a castle? That's true, that's what I said. And why would anybody name an attraction in Orlando area the Haunted Mansion? Um, update, 2011. The building is still there, but has now been modified and is in use as a country music club. They didn't really answer the questions. I guess it's a music country club now. Neat. What else we got? Alchemy website. Ooh, this say uh, this sounds satanic. Colored emblems. Ah, surrealism. Ah, satanic. Facebook. No. This is not. We're not going through that one. That's a bit no. Mm. No. American long rifles. Eh. Give me something interesting, dude. I want to be intrigued. Come on, dude. Surprise me. America's most hated. This guy. Is that Bill Gates? Yeah. He's 666 years. If evil scum has gender, then male. He's also known as Satan. What's this guy's problem? Have you seen this man? He is wanted in 19 states for illegal software bundling and other abuse of monopoly power. Software bundling? That's why you hate Bill Gates? He's armed with Borg implants. Hmm. Worrisome. What else we got? Welcome. Thank you. I like being welcomed. The Bodine family website. Sweet. I love family websites. Uh, so this is the Bodine family. Uh, this site has been set up to help other Bodines of Swedish descent trace their ancestry. Sweet. So here we got some photos of the Bodines, Halloween, Christmas, all important years. My first car, 1988 Honda Civic LX. Nice. Alright, let's check out, let's find out about their family. No, does this link not work? Oh, here we go. So we've got how many people there? One, two, three, four, five, six people in the family. That's a nice... Uh, family. So Scott. I bet that's the dad. Okay, so Scott Russell Bodine. So that's him there. Uh, really a, quite a quite a menacing character. Um, where to start? Ah, yes. The birth canal. We might skip Scott for now. We'll check out Rebecca. Ooh. Lovely lady. She's got very pretty eyes. John would be, oh, we got a son. He, uh, he's not interested in nothing. He didn't feel out. He, he's under construction for years and years. This guy's a slacker. I wonder what he's up to now. Probably nothing, nothing noteworthy. Kayla. Also, they're, they're even filling out their pages, dude. They're, they're probably, that's why Scott's so pissed off. Look at him. My kids just aren't filling out the web page. I look like a chump. Tyler's spot on the World Wide Web. Okay, so this, this guy puts a little more effort into it. Tyler. Hmm. 
birth story. I don't need to hear that. Let's check out his artwork. Not bad. Not bad, Tyler. Good job. Let's check out Courtney. I am five years old now. Born 2000, so she'd be 23. Hmm. Good job, Courtney Bodine. You make Scott very proud, I'm sure. Okay, let's go back to Wibby. Surprise me, Wibby. Two more, we'll go, oh. Flamethrower, now an option on South African cars. What? Johannesburg, South Africa. Crime-obsessed South Africans have a powerful new weapon with which to stop likely criminals. The car flamethrower. Where are the picks, dude? This didn't happen. I don't know. CNN? Get out of here, fucking CNN. I don't want to read you. They tricked me. Fucking Wibby's trying to get me to read CNN. Original tribal names of native North American people. Just quickly check them all out, guys. Interesting. Okay, two more websites and then we're done. Website number one. The Matrix. Okay, Matrix 101 is your guide to understanding the Matrix Trilogy. Very, This is very important in our current times. So, let's check it out. Let's uh, check out The Matrix. The Matrix, released in 1999, snuck up on a lot of people. Yeah, okay. Several trailers, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To go deeper in The Matrix synopsis. The character, let's go to the, it's not, the meaning, let's go to the meaning. We all know what the meaning of the Matrix is, because there's lots of speculations about it, about what the, what the red pill and the blue pill are now. So let's, <clears throat> there's a lot of interesting aspects of the Matrix that provoke discussions, arguments, and debates. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, Neo believes he's a living a normal but slightly troubled life. You know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you're just telling me what the fucking, what happened? What's the meaning, dude? The meaning. The noodle baker. Clearly she can tell the future when she wants to. This is bullshit. This isn't telling it. This has made it less clear than ever. Symbolism. Alright, we want to check out the symbolism. Trinity represents the number three, which is a powerful number in many stories and traditions. How does she represent the number three? In keeping with the Christian themes, the Father, the Son, Holy... What, bro? What? Mm, I don't think that's what the Matrix means. In the dictionary, it refers to a situation... Oh, here we go. We have a definition for what a Matrix is. A situation or surrounding substance within something else... Wait. A situation or surrounding substance within... Within which something else originates, develops, or is contained. The womb. I understand, yes. Yes. Neo. Anagram of one. Ah! I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff about, um, hmm. very interesting. Let's go back to Wibby. Last website, guys. Checking it out. Bullying is bad. Yep, that's all right. This whole video was just a big lead up to me, an anti-bullying campaign. Uh, you've all been bullying me in the comments, especially after my 3am potion video. And we're going to learn a little bit about bullying, so you know not to bully. So question one. Question, does age and gender coincide with bullying? Why is, we've got Paul Blart Mall Cop in the back. This is a very well-designed webpage. 
Um, we got some bar graphs, some statistics on bullying. We don't really care about that. Question two. Wow. Mm, not really interesting. Let's go. Let's go home. This page is brought to you by ISIS. We are not liable for any issues you have. <laughs> okay. We, we are responsible for all data involved since we received the data due to a survey. Questions, complaints, comments, not accepted. Okay. <laughs> Thanks and enjoy. Ah, uh, right. So I hope you, you've learnt why bullying is bad and you will cease doing it. So thank you very much. That was Captain Oates doing a PSA. I uh, hope you've you you've come out of this a more morally sound person. So what are you up to? Been doing anything interesting lately? Thanks for watching guys, that's the Captain Oates Show. This is your Captain Oates signing out.